everybody, it's Jessie and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you found Jessie Shelf. This is the space where I talk about books, tea, and sometimes my dogs make an appearance. And if you're a Turing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Today is a video I'm really excited for. It's my first review of the five shortlisted books for Canada Reads 2020. Now, if you're not sure what Canada Reads is, I will link everything down below, but it's basically a book battle put on by CBC Radio. They long list 15 books, they shortlist five books, and then each of the five um, shortlisted books gets a celebrity to champion or defend it, and they have a bit of a book battle. You can listen to it on the radio, or you can actually watch it on YouTube now, which is probably what I'll do. But I have made it my mission the last few years to read um, all the shortlisted books. I've been wanting to get more into Canadian literature. Last year in 2019 I made um, some videos about Canada Reads and this year is no different. So this is my first review for Canada Reads 2020 and today we're going to be talking about um, Small Game Hunting at the Local Cowards Gun Club by Megan Gale Coles. So to start out, I want to let you guys know I gave this book 3 out of 5 stars, so that means I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, it's a middle of the road book for me. Um, my rating for this book is complicated, probably because this book is very complicated. Um, Small Game Hunting at the Local Cowards Gun Club is set in St. John's, Newfoundland. It is a cold winter day in February and a blizzard is on its way. With the blizzard coming, that means that a lot of people can't make it into work. That includes a lot of employees at a restaurant in St. John's called the Hazel. So fortunately a few people can make it into work and um, these employees get roped in to staying later and working this shift during the blizzard. We're following the manager owner George who is kind of running a failing business and she doesn't really know what's going on with her husband John who is another manager co-owner of the Hazel and a cook and he is not a good guy at all. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to say anything else about him because I don't want to spoil He's not a good man. He was a very evil character. He is a very evil character and he is definitely a villain in this book. Um, and then of course we're following Iris, one of my favorite characters. Um, and all she wanted to do was go and pick up her paycheck, but she got roped into working. And then we have Damien, our server, who comes into work nursing a very bad hangover. And then we have Olive. So when we're reading about Olive, we don't really know where she fits into the story. Um, we know that she knows Iris, that she might live with Iris. Um, at first I thought she worked there, but she doesn't. She's just there and she's watching all of the drama go down on this blizzard day at the Hazel and that is what you read about. You read about the inner lives of all these characters, the drama, the betrayal, the hardships, the heartache, and like Megan Gale Coles warns us at the beginning, this book might hurt so when you go into it, be brave. All right, so now we're gonna get into some of my thoughts for this book. Um, like I said, I gave it three out of five stars. I couldn't possibly give it a higher rating, but I couldn't possibly give it a lower rating either. And once you guys listen to my thoughts, you might understand my rating a little bit better. So small game hunting at the Low Cowards Gut Club. All right, so let's comment on the writing style. For me, this was um, kind of contributed towards my rating a little bit. Um, this was a hard writing style for me to get into. Um, this is, it was just difficult for me to read. Um, I don't read a lot of books written this way. This writing style is not in your face. Um, writing, not everything is spelt out for you. I feel like I had to really, really pay attention while I was reading, which is not bad, but it's not, I just, I don't like to read books that I feel like are work. <laughs> um, that's not why I read. Um, that being said, it was still very beautiful writing. It was still very good writing and I would probably read another book by Megan Gale Coles. Um, I just, I'm more aware of her writing style now. Um, com want to comment on one pet peeve. Um, there are no quotations in the dialogue and that is a pet peeve of mine. I might be old fashioned or a traditionalist or whatever you want to call me, but I like to have quotations in my dialogue and I noticed that right off the hop and it bothered me right off the hop. So I don't know if that's a new thing that writers are doing. I feel like I read that somewhere, but that contributed to my reading a little bit. Okay, so um, Small Game Hunting of the Local Cowards Gun Club. I'm just gonna be blunt. This is not a happy book. If you want a book with a happy ending and all the good guys win and there's a pretty bow at the end and everything's wrapped up nicely, 
this is not the book for you. This is a sad, bleak, depressing, hopeless book. There is no hope in this book at all. And I didn't really know that going in, but I just want to let everybody know that Megan Gale Coles warns us at the beginning. This might hurt. Be brave. She's not kidding at all. Like she, she knew what she was writing <laughs> and she, don't take that warning lightly when you open up this book. Um, but you know what? Does that make it a bad book? No. So the issues, the social issues that are brought up in this book are not happy things. I mean, you're talking about racism. You're talking about homophobia. You're talking about rape, a gangbang, cheating sexual assault, um, psychological abuse, physical abuse. Are those happy things? No. So how can you write a happy book about them? Well, you either sugarcoat the crap out of all of them or you don't write about them. So you sweep them under the rug. And Megan Gill Coles did not want to do that. She wanted to bring all of these issues into focus like we're doing for Canada Reads. So she literally puts the reader into these issues and Basically, from what I gather, is she is trying to make it so that you kind of feel like how these characters feel. Because none of the characters in this book have a happy story. At all. And at the end of this book, my heart was broken for all of them. I felt so much empathy for them. And this book actually put me into a very sad, hopeless, depressed mood. <laughs> um, which is really good writing in my opinion. If you can take my feelings and manipulate them, to me, that's good writing. Um, to make somebody feel what the characters in this book are feeling or have empathy for them is good writing, in my opinion. Now I can see a lot of people not enjoying this book because it's not happy and I feel like everybody wants the happy ending, everybody wants the sugar-coated shit, everybody wants the big pretty bow at the end where everything's wrapped up and all the characters make it and all the good guys win. So I can totally see why people don't enjoy this book, why it gets a lower rating and possibly why it might not win Canada Reads. Um, I just feel like a lot of people will read like kind of the surface level and be like, oh, it's a sad book, Pfft, I don't like it. Um, but if you really dig deep into this book and you really think about it and you go below the surface level, um, you realize that it's not just a sad book. It's a book bringing so many issues to light that get sugarcoated or swept under the rug. Those are my... <laughs> feelings on small game hunting at the local cowards gun club um i wanted to do some trigger warnings for you guys and i wanted to point something else out that i'm very very happy um i don't know if the author had a part of this or if this was the publisher but megan gail cools has trigger warnings in her book it's got warning contains scenes of sexual physical and psychological violence is that so bad, people? Because I have seen a lot of people have a lot of different feelings about trigger warnings, and I think they're important in books. Um, and does that really affect... That didn't really spoil anything for me, in my opinion. Um, so, trigger warnings for that. Um, also, there is trigger warnings for racism, homophobia, um, rape, and a gangbang. I just want to let everybody know I wouldn't want somebody to go and read this and be hurt by it. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of my feelings for this book are complicated. Um, I think it was kind of written that way though. Um, the three star rating is just because I, I didn't feel good after reading this book, which isn't necessarily terrible, but that doesn't mean I like loved it, but how can you... It's such a hard book to rate and think about. Um, so I didn't love it. I didn't love the content at all, um, but I can appreciate why it was written and the social issues brought to light. And like I said, any um, author who can manipulate my feelings, pull on my heartstrings, make me cry, make me feel all these feelings and empathy for these characters, is a good author in my opinion. So I will be reading more Megan Gale Coles um, for sure. Uh, that being 
being said guys that's all I pretty much have to say um I feel like this is a really great book to discuss so if you have any thoughts on this book that differ from mine or are the same you know please comment down below or you can send me a message on Twitter or Goodreads even if you want to chat about it um let me know if you're reading for Canada Reads I would love to know where everybody else is at um yeah and that's pretty much it if you haven't already please subscribe I'd really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Happy reading. Empty mansion.